All right, this is not a tip, but I just wanted to show you because I think it's really cool. So this has to do with WebKit background clip when you have text. Now, this is if you've seen it, this is even cooler than that. Uh, background clip will take if you have a background, you like right here, I have a background of black. If you say background clip text, it will clip the background from the text, which is really cool. If you have like a background gradient, you want the text to be actually a gradient. But I wanted to clip something that wasn't a background image. I wanted to clip this little wavy thing. And that's actually a canvas. If we take a look at my trunk here, this is a canvas that is being generated and being dumped onto the page. So I thought, okay, how, how do you clip canvas? You can do it with SVG, but that's a pain to do with text. So what I ended up doing, and I probably don't recommend this because it's pretty crazy, but I wrote some code here that will basically take the canvas and dump it via a data URI into a CSS variable. And if you inspect element on the page, look at this. <laughs> I'm literally updating this CSS variable image like every couple seconds. I did it on Firefox and it choked because it wasn't able to parse and display the image fast enough by the time the next one came in. So it just didn't work at all. But I opened up in Chrome and it's it's being butter smooth. This is for a talk. I'm not going to put this on a website or anything like that. But now I have this image URL. Then I went into my styles.css and I said all of my headings have a background image of this variable. Then I said a background. Um, I have a blend mode on there. That's actually unnecessary. I don't need that background size cover and whatnot. But because I have the clip, See, now you can see that's the background image there along with both the, the color and the image. And then when you put a clip on it, boom, you get that. So that would work exactly the same way with a video element. If you wanted to paint it, you paint the video element to a canvas and then the canvas to a data URI and then the data URI into a CSS variable and then background image that CSS variable.